Hello there everyone, my name is Chase Sharaba and welcome to my first episode of Tutorial Tuesday. My plan is that every other Tuesday I will bring you some sort of tutorial or how-to video to teach you how to do something new. Now, these could range from Adobe InDesign tutorials to some new things I learned in Adobe Photoshop to Java programming or anything else. I'm in the process of reinventing my channel and I just wanted to try something new. So, without any further delay, let's get started and roll my new intro. I'm so glad that you are all here for my first episode of Tutorial Tuesday. Today's topic is going to be some basics about Adobe InDesign. I'm going to go over some of the basic tools and how to use them very quickly. Now, just to clarify why I'll be doing this video, I've been using Adobe InDesign for about five years for my high school and college newspapers that I've worked on. So I've been using it a lot and I thought I should share some of the things that I've been doing to help other people who are just starting to design with InDesign or just want to mess around with it if you have the Adobe Creative Cloud. So I just want to share some of my insights. I'm not a professional. I've just been using it for a few years. So you guys might even know some better ways to do stuff than I do. And if you do, I would love for you to tell me in the comments below. Once again, this is not an advanced tutorial. So if you already know how to do all these things, just skip this video and come back for one of my future episodes. So let's open Adobe InDesign and let's start. Just a reminder, if you have used InDesign before, this is not the video for you. I would come back for another episode. This is mainly for people who haven't really used InDesign. It's just going to be a quick crash course on some of the tools. Alright, I've jumped into InDesign Creative Cloud 2017 here on my Windows 10 PC. This is the opening screen once you open InDesign. So from here you can open new files or your recent files will show up here. I don't really like the recent files so I've kind of disabled it to show no recent files here. I kind of like the old school way of just opening stuff. So you can either choose to open a file or you can create a new document. So pull up this window here. There's a bunch of presets. Um, or if you know your paper size you can just go in here so let's just say I'm designing for print and let's change it over to inches and of course you've got your standard 8.5 by 11 let's say that I'm designing like a tabloid size newspaper I might do the 11 by 17 there and then we'll just hit create so now you've got a blank document so here it will show you the number of pages you have and it's very easy to add pages. You can just go to layout, pages, whoops, add page, or if you have another page, you can insert page. So, like, we'll just add a second page just because. So now you've got your two pages there. So let's just start with this one. Let's do a little overview of some of the basic tools that InDesign offers. Of course, you've just got your selection tool, it lets you move stuff and select things. So. I'm going to go down here to the rectangle tool and let's just make a rectangle. So the selection tool will let you click on that rectangle and you can move it. Just let you move whatever you want. I'm going to delete that now, just hit backspace on the keyboard. So first I'm just going to start off with shapes. Like I showed you, you've got the rectangle tool. And it will show you on the screen there you can see the width and height in inches and it just lets you draw a rectangle you can also draw an ellipse and you've also got this polygon tool here so like right now I have it on to where you can draw stars but you can draw many other shapes too and that's something we can get into in a later tutorial I'm just going over some really simple basics right now I'm gonna go ahead and clear all that out now we'll just talk about the type tool making a text box so if you have your type tool just drag it and it will make a text box you know you can change your font size up here and your font so it's just menu pro just do like size 18 hello this is a tutorial well tutorials 
this is a tutorial and I don't want to type a lot of stuff out so if I just right click I'm gonna fill with placeholder text it's fake Latin some sort of gibberish um, but now you've got like a text box you can resize it to whatever you'd like you can change your columns super easily just go right up here in the menu where you can see the number of columns and you can change the columns to whatever you want even some ridiculous number like nine columns we'll just stick to four columns and as you can see it put the text into four columns I'm gonna resize that a little bit so you can resize and you know bring it down here to make it a little nicer I'll just double click that to make it end at the last part of the text there you can hit W on your keyboard to show it without any lines um, and this is how it actually look the display it looks a little weird here so really quickly I want to be on a high I want to be on a high performance display so just go over to view display performance and just select high quality display that'll just make everything look a little better so this right here is the rectangle frame tool so just like with everything else you can just drag it and it will create a rectangle frame now these are very useful for one if you have it selected and if you go to file place you can add an image into InDesign here's a picture of me that I've done some Lightroom editing to you know just you can use this circle right here to move stuff around and there are some shortcuts that you can do to like resize automatically I'm not gonna go into shortcuts today we'll save that for another episode of Tutorial Tuesday so I'm just gonna control shift the corner and put it into this frame for now so as you can see this photo of me is now inside of the rectangle frame there's some other uses that you can use for rectangle frame too when you're designing if you really want stuff to line up and you're not really good at eyeing it or you're not using the shortcuts to move things um, when I was first learning InDesign, I used this to make sure everything was straight and neat. I don't use it anymore um, because I have learned better. But for example, you could do one pica boxes. Let's zoom in here. Which for news design is what you want between everything. So like your columns are one pica. So when I would design newspapers, you would go to like the last letter here and then you could stretch you could stretch a one pica rectangle frame tool across and then you can line your objects up with it and then you would know that it's exactly one pica that's what I did starting out it is not the best way to design we will get into some better ways in some future episodes for now I'm just gonna leave you with that if you wanted to add like drop caps to this you know, just get a little fancy here you can highlight the first letter go over to the paragraph formatting controls right here you will see an A and it says drop cap number of lines I like to set it to 3 and that created a 3 line drop cap I'm gonna come down to the other page here I'm gonna select W again to bring back all my guides now we're gonna talk a little bit about the pen tool which is my favorite tool in InDesign there's just so much you can do with the pen tool and it is your best friend. So I'm going to select the pen tool here. The pen tool just lets you click and draw. And so, you know, I can do something like this. And we'll draw some sort of shape. And then you can just reconnect it there. And you've got a shape that if you use your selection tool, you can just move it. Okay, if we hit W, it's just got a thin black stroke around it so you can draw stuff with it so let's say that you wanted to draw a circle there is a tool over here to draw an ellipse but let's just say that you wanted to draw a circle for some reason and you're drawing it but you'll notice that it's got a lot of edges here's the smooth tool if you select that and just drag around it's going to smooth out all of those lines over time. 
I'm not gonna get it completely perfect. But as you can see, it's better than it was before. Kind of resembles a circle. But you can draw anything with a pen tool. You can trace things. I mean, you can get so intricate and so detailed and spend so much time on something. I know that I have done that before. And I will do an entire episode in the future about how to use just the pen tool because it's just one of the most important tools in InDesign. So if you're new to InDesign, my suggestion would just be mess around with it, just practice with it. That's how I learned. Um, I had a little guidance at the beginning on how to use it, but I pretty much learned how to use the pen tool just by tracing things and messing around. I just think that's the best way to learn how to use it. But if we do draw just like a shape here, if you come over here to the swatches or you can use color, either one's fine, you can actually color and fill the shape. So we could do like a nice green. Um, all that color will do here is it will let you have like a wider range of colors that you can choose. That's like the only difference. I kind of like that fluorescent green myself. Um, and this is CMYK, so this is for print. If you were doing stuff on the web, you would want to use your RGB values instead, which can be easily changed right here. So stroke up here will set your stroke which is the outline of the shape or text or whatever so you can increase it you can decrease it just have no stroke at all depending on what you want let's make it a little big so that you can see so the stroke is now green and what you can do like if we're down here in color the second box here is your stroke color so now we can set it to black or we can set it to blue or yellow oh, that's kind of a bad yellow or yellow or orange or pink whatever color we'll set it to like a dark blue kind of a purple dark blue and it just puts a nice stroke on it this is your eyedropper tool in a lot of programs so let's just draw a star here you can eyedropper that and it'll replicate it. it makes your job a lot easier if you're doing a lot of different shapes and you want it to be the same color eyedropper tool will just transfer the exact properties of that shape so like I said this was just a really simple intro to my tutorial Tuesday series there wasn't a Wow, my cat was noisy. There wasn't a whole lot of information in here, especially if you've used InDesign before. In the future, I do plan to do some episodes just about the pen tool, about designing newspapers, some more in-depth videos that'll be longer and I'll actually go into detail about how to do stuff. This was just basically a crash course. If you've never used InDesign before, here's some of the tools. Mess around with it until my next episode. So hopefully this tutorial helped you just get some of the basics about InDesign so that you can start creating and designing and laying out whatever you want to do with it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Please just give it a like if it helped you. And leave a comment if you have any questions still or if there's anything that helps you. I would love to know because this is my first tutorial on this channel. If there's a topic that you would love for me to talk about with InDesign, let me know about that also. I can't guarantee that I'll be able to do a tutorial on it, but I can try my best. I have done a lot of stuff with InDesign, so if you have any questions, ask, and I may do it for a future episode. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I also do vlogs, cinematic films, and all sorts of other stuff. So please subscribe, give this video a like, and I will see you in two weeks for my next episode of Tutorial Tuesday. Till next time, I'm Chase Sharaba.